In today's video, we'll be talking about three stocks that I'm watching and hopefully buying today. Let's get into the video. Hi everyone, my name is Zach and welcome to Finance Pro. Before I tell you the three stocks that I'm watching and hopefully buying today, I would like to kindly ask you to demolish the like button as that really helps with the YouTube algorithm. So the first stock that we're going to be talking about today is Alibaba. So the Chinese government just announced that they would be investigating Alibaba and the way they do their business. More specifically, they will be looking into how Alibaba was coercing merchants into exclusivity agreements. China doesn't want these exclusivity agreements because they don't want monopolies to form inside of China. The estimates that I have been seeing is that even if China does crack down on Alibaba for this, that it would eat into their total profit margin by 0.2 to 0.5%. Now, I don't even think a 1% hit to the profit margin would warrant a 12% drop in one day to Alibaba's stock. Um, but that is exactly what happened. Now, what I'm looking for here is for Alibaba to hit the 225 mark, um, as that's where I'm comfortable buying. You can wait till it goes up a little more to make sure that it's still on an uptrend. I really don't think that China investigating Alibaba is going to turn into anything even, and even if it does, I don't think it will be that big a deal. So I expect Alibaba to bounce back, and this is a great long-term hold and a great time to get into Baba. But this is the perfect time to remind you guys that I am not a financial expert, and this is not financial advice. This is just me telling you what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and you guys can take your own conclusions and do whatever you want with the information, but this isn't financial advice for me. I don't think you should do everything I do. I think you guys should think for yourselves. Um, I'm just letting you guys know what I'm doing. As for the second stock, we will be looking at Unity Software. While Baba is more of a long-term play for me, Unity Software could be um, an options play for me or just a swing play for me. I will have to look into how the stock does tomorrow. Now I'm looking into Unity Software for a couple of reasons. For one, Unity is a strong company that is in the gaming sector that has had a massive run up this year. Another reason I'm looking into this stock is because there is a cup and handle for me. Now if you don't know what a cup and handle is, it's basically a bullish trend um, that forms within a stock. If you look at the one month chart, um, you can basically see it here, uh, you have the cup and then the handle. And basically what I'm looking to see here is Unity getting back to 167 or even 168, 169. Um, and then I think it will continue its trend upwards. Now this may take a couple of days. It may not even happen. But if I do see uh, Unity cross over 167, 168, I think uh, you know that's a great time to get in uh, for me. You know, not financial advice. This could take a couple days to happen. I'm just gonna be watching it pretty closely. This may not be a trade today. Could be a trade on Wednesday, I don't know. I'm just looking into it, I'm watching it. The third and final stock we'll be looking into today is FedEx. Now FedEx has taken a dip ever since it was announced that FedEx would be delivering the Pfizer vaccine. Just like Pfizer took a dip, uh, FedEx has two. I don't know if there's any correlation there, I wouldn't think so, but that's besides the point. FedEx has actually reported back-to-back -back stellar quarters uh, for earnings, and they have reaped the reward of that uh, with its stock tripling since March. I personally think that FedEx will continue its upward trend and will be using this dip as an opportunity opportunity to buy back in. And I know I've already said in the video, but remember this is not financial advice. And that is going to be it for the three stocks that we're analyzing today. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I put a lot of work and research into this video. So if you guys just appreciate that, I would really appreciate if you guys could just like and comment. My name is Zach. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.